In this video we are having a problem with the water tank when we're trying to reinstall it onto the commode. It's hitting the back wall and we don't have the clearance to install the water tank. We'll go over the issues with this in the following video. Okay, what happened was I remodeled put a new ceramic tile floor in and I was getting ready to put my commode back on its flange and what happened is the distance from the center of the flange to the wall is not enough for the toilet to fit. What's happening is the uh, tank on the back of the commode is hitting this wall over here. It's hitting this wall <clears throat> and it won't fit. So your standard dimension from the center of this flange to the wall is normally 12 inches. What's happening is I have roughly 10 and 3 eighths. If you had another 3 quarter inch for the um, thickness of this board here, uh, that gives you roughly 10 and 3 eighths and another Six eighths, so that gives you eleven and one eighth. So I'm three quarter. I'm seven eighths of an inch short from having a twelve inch clearance between the center here and the wall. And again, what's happening? The tank on the toilet is hitting the wall, and it won't allow me to position the commode on top of this flange correctly. So I have two choices. I can bust this flange out, which is more of a difficult job and get a offset flange that offsets up to two inches further away from the wall. Or I can go bring my 12 inch commode, the 12 inch rough and commode back and they make one that is a 10 inch. So a 10 inch will fit here <clears throat> very well. So that's what I decided to do instead of busting out this flange then we'll go get a 10 inch rough end commode and solve the problem. Okay, this is a shot of the new commode that I uh, I bought to replace uh, the one that wouldn't fit. The first commode I bought was a 12 inch rough end, which means the toilet flange, center of the toilet flange is 12 inches from the wall. And even though that's the rough end size I had on the previous commode, uh, what happened was I installed bead board on the wall, which took up about one half inch. And that was just enough that the uh, new commode would not fit. So I had to bring it back and get a, a new commode that had a 10 inch rough end. So I was just pointing out on the box. Here's, somewhere on the box they will talk about the rough end. And 12 inches standard, uh, if you're not going to go with the standard 12 inch like in my case I couldn't uh, you need to look for a 10 inch so I went back and found the exact same commode in a 10 inch uh, configuration and I got lucky because it was a big box store and out of all the commodes they had there there was only one 10 inch model and all the rest were 12 inch models Anyway, something to pay attention to when you're buying uh, a new commode. Here's a final shot of the clearance between the uh, bead board and the commode itself. You have about an inch and a half clearance between the lid and the wall. And that looks pretty good. And this is based on a 10 inch rough end toilet. So the, from the wall to the center of the toilet flange, uh, it fits a 10 inch toilet. The, the, 12, the 12 inch toilet, when I try to put it in, this, this uh, back of this water tank was hitting against the wall and it wouldn't sit on the back of the uh, toilet correctly. So in a, a 10 inch rough end was a good alternative gave me enough room to put the toilet in place without any problems. 